Mheshimiwa Jesu Kambalo has kindly agreed kunisaidia mpaka tukasindikize and nzisa huko Saikuru. Kwa hivyo mkiniruhusu atoe rambi rambi zake ndio sisi tuondoke na uh, alafu nyinyi muendelee na shughuli. Dugoraila thank you for that understanding um, and, and the team. Asante sana. kwa familia ya mwendo nimetumwa na wabunge wote wa azimio na hata wabunge wengine wako saidi wengine na wako na sisi mwikone maemeva umu kone kwa megwa moyo hata wawo wako na sisi kwa sababu bei ya sukari ikipanda kila mtu anaumia bei ya mafuta ikipanda kila mtu anaumia tulipiga finance bill no sendio ndiyo tutete njini mama brian uyu mtoto wako Tuendo mwelekanye na Yesu. Ni kama Yesu. Yesu alikufa ndio tuokoke ndio tuweze kwenda mbinguni hata kama si Yesu. Example kana ndio uomba itu. Eh the wa Brian akuiye. Ne kana kena hiyo okoke. Asuma na amua ye. Shetana shid. Tutarudi siku nyingine when my principles are here. Siongeangi sana. Lakini ndio muombe si. Ndio muombe si. Your Excellency Kalonzo Musyoka, we know you very well. Mwishimwa Raila Amola Dinga Sande sana. Kwa kumwekia mukono, mwishimwa Kalonzo Musyoka kuwe team leader. Na hiyo at least umetuonyeksha upendo wako kwetu. If Kalonzo is the team leader, hakuna kitu haiweze kani. Hindi kanatio huo? Kalonzo ameshikanisha inji mingi. Kanatio uwa. He's a peacemaker. Sasa wakishinwa mujue sisi sisi ni wawo. Kende kanatio uwa. Mae motu idhu kisya. Mujue wawo ndi wataki. Kenya yendele mbele. Na hindi mae ma. Hindi vayi kwati mindu watu tu ikali vayi kwali. Asante. Asante. Asante sana, asante sana your excellency Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. Ni mwamwia na adhine za bali ni. Na ni mwamwia kada nyaku ya sheikulu. Asante sana your excellency tunakuombea safari njema na kutakuwa kuzuri. Tuko tumefika hapo kwa sababu ya wakati. 
Hii ni nafasi nataka kuita mchungaji ndiposa akapate kuleta neno kisha tutapata kuendelea. Ninaomba zizi zote tusimame tupate wimbo. Wanti. Tunaongoza na Pastor Ann wimbo ulio katika tabu cha kutumaini sina alafu we are going to hear the word of god ah bwana asifiwe amen basi huo wimbo ambao umetajwa uko katika program zetu cha kutumaini sina kwa hivyo tutaenda kwa pamoja na bwana ataweza kutubariki cha kutumaini sina Ila dam ya ke Yesu sina wema wa kutosha ambi zangu kusiosha akutumaini sina ila dam ya ke Yesu sina wema wa kutosha ambi zangu Yosha wake Yesu nasimama ye mama ni salama ye mama ni salama ye mama ni salama ye yangu ni wendevu ye ye ni Ni pinga, uwo tatendi 
Kuja kufariji familia hii katika jina la Yesu amjambo Hatujambo Pia wageni wetu karibuni, karibuni, karibuni eneo hili tunawapenda Sauti yenu inatutia nguvu na uongozi wenu na Tupatia muelekeo na tunamatumaini Au oh, His Excellency uh, Baba yetu uh, Raila Molo Dinka the all protocol of serve ningependa kusema ya kwamba karibuni katika hafla hii na tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu amekuwa mwaminifu kwa jambo hili tunashukuru kwa sababu tumekuwa na safari ngumu kwa familia ya Brian Kanisa maana hii jambo ilitupata kwa mshangao we are expecting to pray this very end of this man Brian yaende shule because of university lakini the kifo yake imetukata miguu uh, lakini bado Mungu anaendelea and as the way we have said there before ya kwamba Brian ameshafanya kazi yake ila Mungu alikusudia kufanya katika dunia hii he has done i can take the life of uh, Brian like a life of Cameron Scott ambaye ni mwanzilishi wa kanisa letu la Africa Inland Church and he come here at Nzawi uh, Nzawi na Nzawi ni mahali pazuri pa kuanza mambo mazuri and he served for only three months or three years na maisha yake ikakatika na on the description ambayo aliacha katika hali yake akasema hivi Bwana unitumie ningali hai na wakati ambayo nimeenda I am telling you the great church ambayo Scott Cameron leo akifufuka anaweza fanya mambo anaisha sangaa au kuanguka because of what the great how church has grown na hata leo Brian aki, aki, Mungu akijalia na au amuke aone kile kazi ambayo imetendeka kwa ajili yake Mungu atashukuriwa. Kwa hivyo I've been telling Mama Brian God loves you na kuna mpango mema juu ya maisha yako. Sometimes we can cry, cry. Sometimes we can see that sisi tumefika mwisho wa maisha. But that is the beginning point of God. I remember one wife, a one woman ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Naomi when he went to the land, the other land au alipoenda Moab, alirudi bila chochote. Na watu wa familia walipomkaribia Alilia kwa sababu walikuwa wote wanawake wawili wasio na chochote and he be cry and said I will never be called pleasant I will never be called Naomi call me Mara because God has forsaken me but let me tell you kama Naomi angejua plan ambayo Mungu anaye kwa ajili ya maisha yake angemtukuza Mungu na ana ilionekana alikuja kuwa kisasi baraka ya kisasi ya Yesu Boaz ambaye alikuwa amemwoa alikuja kuwa baba wa Jesse na Jesse inaitanishwa na ufalme wote wa Daudi ambaye Kristo Yesu pia alikuja kusaliwa na Naomi is a great woman I'm telling you this woman will come to be great your name will be called nao mataifa yote wanakujua kwa sababu ya Brian America wanakujua kwa sababu ya Brian Every land know you Kenya nzima leo wako hapa because of you Brian ameshafanya kazi yake Na basi tutafanya nini ndugu zetu tuangalie Mungu ambaye ni faraja wa maisha yetu Yeye ambaye ni faraja dunia hii iko na kilio dunia hii iko na mambo mengi hata kwa wale ambayo uh, dunia iko na kilio a lot of cry in the world a lot of cry people are killing others and the bible says as soon as jesus went into the town of nine his disciples and a large crowd were with him along with him as they approached to the town gate a dead person was carried out a only son of his mother and she was a widow and a large crowd from the town were with her Then the Lord, uh, the Lord saw her and he, he went and his, wet, his heart went out and he went to and, and he went to her and said don't cry and when he went up he touched the uh, he touched the ban and there they they carried where they are carried on and the uh, uh, the uh, and the coffin bearer stood uh, stood still and said young man i said rise and get up and the dead man start and began to talk start began to talk and Jesus gave him uh, back to his mother and they were they were filled with 
uh, with awe and praise and a great pro, a, a great prophet has appeared among people and they said God has come to, for his help and this news spread, uh, of about Jesus spread throughout the Judea and the surrounding count, uh, country haya ni maneno ambayo ni ya Yesu Kristo na ninakwenda kuambia kanisa ya kwamba kuna mmoja ambaye tukimtazama yeye ndio ana uwezo wa kutuliza kila hali ya joto ya maisha Yesu Kristo ndio suluhisho ya maisha ya leo people are crying all over ikifo ni kitu mbaya sana imefanya watu walie watu wanashindwa hata kujisaimili kwa sababu ya uchungu ya kifo watu wanapoteza watu wa familia siku moja people are killing one another people are destroyed risasi inatumika hayo hayo the power of death is ongoing but i thank god because there is a time ambayo biblia inasema kwamba kuna mmoja ambaye alijaribiwa kuna mmoja ambaye aliteswa ali kuna mmoja ambaye aliuliwa na kifo kuna mmoja ambaye alisulubishwa na kifo cha aibu na biblia inasema kwamba hata wakamzika kwenye kaburi na saidi ya yote wakamwekea jiwe juu ya ile mwamba wakasema asitoke and they give walinzi katika kifo yake wakasema kwamba tuweke walinzi kwa, hiu, kwa kwa kaburi ya ule jamaa because fella, this fella has said he will rise up after three days. Praise the name of the Lord. That is a hope in Christ Jesus. Hata kama tunatafuta na tunangangana kutafuta haki ya Brian. My brothers and sisters, kuna kifo nyingine nyingi ambayo inatuangamiza kama wanadamu. And the only one who can give us a solution it is one ambaye Biblia inasema kwamba alitembea kwa familia moja angekuwa hapa na yuko hapa in the spiritual realms. Hey, bwana asifiwe sana. Kusanyiko kubwa likakusanyika kama hili. People are coming, wanakuja na kuomboleza. Na Biblia inasema kwamba aliposikia hiyo, he was moved. Aka, aka, tu, uh, roho yake aka, 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 aka moved and he went to the mother and said, "Don't cry." Kuna mmoja ambaye anaweza tuambia tusilie. Sisi tumenyamazisha mama Brian tumwambie tusilie, lakini hatuna uwezo nyingine. Ara leo tukitoka hapa tunamwambia tumewaachia Mungu lakini kuna mmoja ambaye ako na uwezo yote. Yeye ambaye Biblia inasema kwamba na akasimamisha protocol yote na Biblia inasema kwamba akaenda kwa Genesa na akaiguza akasema young man because he has a power of a dead. Praise the Lord. Hata hawa Brian ambaye harujafufua sisi yeye atafufua siku ya kurudi kwake. I thank God wiki jana tulikuwa tunafanya counseling na yeye. Na nikaomba na yeye maombi ya toba. Kwa hivyo najua kwamba tutampata pale. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Biblia inasema kwamba na yeye anatupatia faraja. Faraja ya ajabu. Alienda kwa kina Martha, wakilala, wakilia. The example that Jesus was giving out, he has power over death. When you read the scripture inasema kwamba kuna siku moja ataambiwa kifo wapi nguvu zako. Why is the stream of, 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 of death? Why is the power of death? Hallelujah. Na Biblia inasema pale anatupanguza machosi maana yeye ndio ako na uwezo. Praise the Lord. Huyo ndio tumtazame. Yes we struggle to look for eh, mambo yetu ya inchi yetu ya Kenya. Maana tunaombea inchi ya mani. Tunaombea watu wanyenyekee na kila mtu asiende na kifua. Kila mmoja ngangane inchi iendelee mbele. This generation is greater than all of us all. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hii nje. Kuna nje ambayo wanapigana ex